most life-changing decision I have ever made. The experiences I've had through PAC have empowered me to make a difference, taught me to embrace who I am, and brought me to the realization that the world is worth seeing. After traveling with PAC, I was inspired to apply for their new global leadership program. I did what was possible to internally change how you view yourself and the world in just a few months. The four days of the leadership retreat have definitely become the most memorable days of my life so far. The biggest lesson I learned in this retreat is acceptance. We did an activity where we adopted new cultural norms and afterwards interacted with, with another culture with conflicting values. It was difficult to be on the same page. Thus, in order to coexist, we had to accept our differences, even adapting to parts of each other's culture. I realized that this activity represented our world. It dawned on me that we just can't see everything from one perspective. I think that is the only way to look at things. We all think differently and behave differently, and diversity is what makes our world beautiful. The ability to have an open mind will take you far. As a budding slam poet, I was also excited for the workshop we did with Hawaii's poet laureate, Kalo. I've always strayed away from especially expressing my opinions and showing emotion, especially when it comes to public speaking, because it was way outside of my comfort zone. But this workshop literally threw me out of the I was like a shadow being thrust into light. Honestly, it felt like my heart had grown hands, took a hold of my pen, and began to write. I stood up with shaky legs, and I spotted words that came from my heart. In the small audience in front of me, all I could make out were smiles of encouragement and eyes dancing in excitement. And for the first time, I felt like my voice was worth being heard. Furthermore, I firmly believe that taking risks and stepping out of your comfort zone is what builds a great leader. And that leader should speak in a true voice. This workshop was an amazing opportunity to practice both of these skills. And the overall support I received is the reason why I still do spoken word today. That was like a match that ignited the candle I have in my heart. I want to be a leader who teaches kindness and acceptance. Accepting others will improve our ability to coexist, and touching hearts with kindness will start a chain reaction of heartfelt gestures to one another. I want to inspire and change lives, just as all path has done.